Good morning students. We are here working on another video for you in your distance learning. We have Angela and Jasleen here with us again. We are going to be working on the vitals, so bear with us because it can get crazy. <laughs> so Angela's going to start with the blood pressure. We are going to do blood pressure on the left arm. I like to use the left arm because this is where the heart's contracting the hardest, right? Pushing out all the blood to the rest of the body. So we get a good pulse sight from there. Um, that's why I typically use the left side. We can use the right side for verification. Also, if we have a patient who's had to have a mastectomy, we cannot do blood pressures on that side because typically once the breast is removed, so are all the lymph nodes in that area and they prefer not to have blood pressures taken on that side. So we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, and J Jasleen has her legs crossed. We do not want our patients to have our legs crossed. It cuts off that flow. So we're gonna ask her to please place her feet flat on the ground or on the floor. And then go ahead, Angela. She's gonna show you how she measures. Uh, left arm, please. And if you remember right, you want the cuff needs to fit. This is your range. It needs to fit right in that range. Two inches above the anacubital fossa site. So we don't tuck the bell of the blood pressure, I mean the stethoscope, underneath. If we tuck it underneath, you get distorted sounds and we don't want that. It confuses what you're trying to listen for. There you go, Angela. You also want to make sure your patient's arm has palm up. It opens the anacubital fossa area. And as you can see, she's going to hold the patient's arm at heart level. Her stethoscope's earpieces are turned facing this way because as adults our ear canals go this way and you want to make sure you're able to get in and listen all right she's going to pump up between 160 180 if the patient is known to have hypertension we need may need to pump up to 210 or 220 She's listening for the systolic sound, which I believe was right about in that 100 area. And now she's waiting for the diastolic sound. And it was around, what, 58-ish? Uh, 64. 64. Very good, Angela. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jasmine.